I never thought asking the question, what do you hate about Asana would make a team more likely to use it, but turns out it did. If you are trying to get your team to successfully adopt Asana and really make this tool part of their daily habits and routine, then asking this question is a great way to uncover any obstacles or concerns as they're learning how to use this new tool. Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome back to another one of our Asana training videos. Now, I was recently hosting a group coaching call for our clients. We do group coaching every week if you'd like to connect with me and get help with Asana from me directly. And one of our clients said that she's recently been asking this question of her team. What do you hate about Asana? And I love this approach because when you adopt a tool like Asana, you really are asking your team to make a big behavioral change. You could be changing things and the way they've done things for years, like communication. Instead of using email or tools like Slack or Microsoft Teams, you may now be asking them to communicate using comments in Asana. You're asking them to change their processes, like how they request information from someone, or instead of sending an email, you're now giving somebody a task. There's also new habits and daily routines to establish, like checking their inbox, responding to comments, and working from that My Tasks page. And I guarantee you will face pushback from people on your team. Even if you're not a big team, you may have one or two people who just don't like change. They don't want to break the status quo, they just want to keep doing things the way they're doing them. And even just one person's resistance, maybe they're still using email or Slack instead of communicating through Asana, this resistance can really drag down the rest of the team and hurt the adoption of Asana. You can show people all the features you want, like how to use the inbox and the my tasks and responding to comments, but actually asking this question, what do you hate about Asana? What don't you like? What are you not getting? Is a great way to actually uncover the, the true obstacle or the thing they are resistant about. And you'll be surprised, sometimes it's something really simple. When I first started using Asana back in 2012, I was actually working in marketing at an e-commerce company here in New Zealand and we were trying to get Asana up and running. And I remember a few people struggling. Uh, one girl in particular just felt like, I'm, I'm not keeping up. There's lots going on and I don't know where to look or what projects I should be checking. And she wasn't actually using her inbox. And so because she wasn't using the inbox, uh, she, was not, she wasn't seeing notifications, she wasn't responding to comments that were coming in. And so I showed her, if you just keep an eye on the little orange dot next to the word inbox, just watch out for that dot. When you see that, that's Asana telling you there's something new in your inbox and then you should go and check it. Do that three or four times a day and then you'll keep up to date with all of the updates and comments that are coming in. Somebody else on the team, actually this is another inbox issue, um, was finding that there's just too many notifications in the inbox. I'm getting alerted about all this stuff that's not relevant to me. And I showed him, um, you can actually remove yourself as a collaborator on tasks. And if you remove yourself, you can opt out of a conversation and you won't receive updates about that task anymore. So if you are currently trying to make this switch and you're trying to get your team to adopt Asana, but you're facing any kind of resistance or pushback, then take the time and ask this question. What do you hate about Asana? And I love the phrasing of it because uh, you really give people permission to complain. People love complaining. And so they'll tell you, this is what I hate. This is why I don't like it. And then you'll, again, be very surprised at just how it's often little things that if you show them one or two little tricks, it can make a huge difference.